Recently, Norwood High School student Edward Connolly, sponsored by the VFW, entered an art contest and won second place. Connolly was awarded his prize aboard the USS Constitution in Charleston. So what it is, is every year it's different scholarship opportunities come up. And so for as long as I can remember, it's the VFW's uh, auxiliary um, offers a patriotic art contest every single year. Um, and they've been offering it for at least 10 years. And every year I present it to my students and say, hey, here's this great opportunity. You know, like here are the requirements. If you use the American flag, be really careful because like you have to make sure the stars and stripes are perfect. Um, so I always warn them about that and I go over the requirements and say like, if you want to do it, like, you know, it's like I, very few people usually submit. So usually you get like a good chance at regional and Eddie's the first time anyone's gone from regional to state. So I encourage my students every year to do it. I was so excited. Like I've never had a student go beyond re like regional, so for him to get second place was amazing. Like I just cheered when I got the email. And they also had a ceremony at the USS Constitution, which I think is also another like really cool like how often do you get to be celebrated at, you know, the America's oldest warship. Well, there are requirements on what you can put and so I decided um even though it was like um not encouraged to do um or put any like American flags, I decided to do it anyways. But um, I incorporated myself into the flag just to like show my um, raw, if you will, like um, patriotism to the country. I used acrylic paint and that's mostly it, yeah. And then I used a white, um, colored pencil as like to color in the stars but basically that's it yeah